All right, well, Thanks, that clock back there says 6 o'clock. I don't know if it's right or not, but we're going to go by it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get started with our pledge and then Commissioner Patton do our prayer. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord, we come before your mighty throne this evening, ask you to bless us upon us as we enter into this meeting. I could give a compassion and uh, understanding to do the things that are best needed for the citizens of this community. We pray, Father, your blessings upon our nation. Have we remember 21 years ago the terrible things that happened? May always be in our hearts and always look to be better than what we have been in the past. Go with us now, God, guide, and direct us. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Welcome you all out tonight, and uh, our first item of business is approval of minutes. I make a motion. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> you want to second it? I'll, I'll make it. You second it. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next item is the uh, bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business, there is nothing under new business. First item is the new sanitation truck. We've had some issues out of both of them, uh, out, of our, out of our old trucks. Uh, both of them are up and going now. Uh, Targo went out of the new truck. The cylinders started leaking on the old truck. Both are repaired and fixed. Uh, got prices of a new truck of a 11 yard which would be a smaller size truck. It would be one size under the CDL limits where we wouldn't have to, have to, have, to have a CDL driver because that's getting to be a, an issue. Uh, not asking for any action or this was more just a fact-finding mission for me to report to y'all this, you know, that the 20 yard truck we bought in 2006, 14 or 15 or 16 was about 168,000. So here it is 2022 and a smaller truck, 11 yard truck is 185. So, uh, we will be, it will be the cycle time to buy a new one in two or three years. Uh, just don't need any action on it yet. What kind of truck is it? Our, the one we have. No, this. It's, it's also a Freightliner. They have How many more trips do you have to make, Larry? Well, what we would have to do, we would have to make one, same as we're doing on Tuesday, Wednesday, one trip each. each. Then what we would probably do is take Thursday route and divide it into two days. That way it would be one trip per day. Uh, it's actually benefited us going from a two-day pickup to a three-day pickup. The the guys are, you can't do a whole lot of mowing with the dew on the grass, so while they're picking up trash, they get off 11, between 11 and 12, they get off, they're ready to start mowing. It's actually benefited us. Uh, they're not tired all week long after picking up 28 ton. Now they're just doing you know, a whole lot less tonnage each day. They, do, they did tell me they have their first battery-powered truck on the lot, uh, just for the chassis, and, and, and there's no compactor on it, $650,000. Oh, they can keep that one. But we want to go green because it's cheaper. The batteries <laughs> add an additional 8,000 pounds of truck. Huh? The batteries on the truck adds an additional 8,000 pounds. And just think of the resources it took to make those batteries, but that's okay. Yeah. We wouldn't go to charge in California. Not after not between four and six. I just don't know about them. Anyway. Okay. Uh, better off on a bicycle. Them numbers are just for me to look. I, I should have taken this off before tonight, but I was just curious what it was. And, so anyway. All right. But probably is a good idea to think if when we do get ready to think about think about the size down just because of the CDL because that's going to get more difficult. Yeah. But then again, on the other end, it may not because there will be no more trucks left. <laughs> you know, it would actually be cheaper because we're st we would still do our, our uh, drug testing on our, on our employees. Well, yeah, that's... With the CDL, with the CDL uh, testing, it's every quarter. So someone's going to be picked, or this it would not be. So it would save a couple hundred dollars a quarter. Just on that. Okay. Next item is Carl Infra. 
Yes, we hired Carl Renfro, and I failed to bring it up at the last meeting. He was hired on August the 2nd. I would ask that we make him full-time retroactive to that date. I think that Amy told me he's making 11.50 an hour. So he would go from 11.50 to 12 after his 90 days. What's he do? Sanitation. I'll make a motion that we hire him. Second. Um, retroactive August the 2nd. Yes. At the rate of? I think 11.50. 11.50, and when does he go to? 90 days would be November, days. December, be Jan January, no, August, September, October, November. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Carl? Carl Kenny. He is the reason we hired, hired Carl Renfro. Carl Kenny went to work for another company. Uh, he did not turn in the resignation letter, so we went ahead and put it on the agenda to okay. have it no within a minute. Do we need to do anything since yeah. he didn't turn yeah, in? We need to Just accept, accept the resignation of Carl Kenny? Yeah. Yes. Effective, do we need the effective date? Uh, the Friday before, I guess it would be last Friday, uh, before Labor Day. Second. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <coughs> Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is online payment system. This is through Kentucky League of Cities. Shelby, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Okay. So we are looking at doing our water bills online. They uh, take water bills. Uh, what else? Tax bills. Property taxes. We can do a, we can upload like a map when we have the strawberry festival and the Oktoberfest where the vendor can get on there, pick their spot, and pay it all online. Um, it is a $2,500 setup fee, uh, but that's it. There's no maintenance fee that we pay every year. There's a, and I forget the percentage uh, on, a credit, on the credit card swipes oh, the, that they get, but. I think it's like 2.65 percent and then there's a 55 cent fee with that as well that's added on um, klc gets their money from the fee is how they make their money off of it they've been down here and done a demonstration and they the city of versailles has already set up on it they did the pilot program for it and it's I was quite impressed with the whole, how the whole thing worked. I was very much impressed with the fact there's no annual fees. We checked with some others, and some of them were some pretty hefty annual fees to keep that up. But this would be a, a, another tool we could use where they, people could go on. Once they, they wouldn't have to come in. All the bills could be paid, whether it's code enforcement, fine, fire dues, anything could be paid online. What about, like, like tickets? Can they pay traffic tickets or anything? Well, those, those don't I come to the city. system. Would it have, is it beneficial to you all in the office? I would say it being very beneficial. Can I make a motion? Well, I think it's time we need to get into the yeah. 21st century, and that's the first place to start. I make a motion we do the online start. payments. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? I, do, I have a question. So can a person set it up to come out monthly, like my check, yes. my um, water bills and comes out monthly? Go, um, another thing is we can go to paperless billing where they just if they create an account on that website they will get an email every month hey your bill is ready nice to be paid and we can also do a thing where we can do underpayments exact amount and then overpayments um, so that's very helpful i personally would say overpayments is a no because it's more of a headache than it is anything so it's tough when, when the bill's paid, it has to be split between water, sewer, and sanitation. Yeah. And overpayments are I have harder. To divide it up. You know, if their bill's $100 and they pay $200, I have to make sure that everything's divided up right and put into the right account. So. And this the system will be set where it'll do it. It'll give her a printout at the end of the in, They're going to do it weekly, day. right? Like daily? You do one at the end of the day, do, just do a daily report, either at the end of the day or the next morning. And then that would have all my information on it, account number, name, address, what they paid, and I can just put it in. We're talking about trying to get it to where I can just import that file into our billing system to where it's not as much time spending doing that than it is 
I would have more time to do other things. Do you have many that overpay? There's a few. Wow. I mean, they don't know what it is. It was about $150, so I'll pay $160 just to... Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So there's... And I've had people come through the drive through the last few weeks asking, when are y'all going to do this online? And everywhere else is doing it. And I'm like, we're working on it. can't really tell you a date, so... Well, what I liked about it, and, when, and like I say, Shelby and Amy and Elise, even Amy was sold on it. Oh, she sold on it. That's good. <laughs> I won't say 100% because she never gets sold on 100% on anything when it comes to finances, <laughs> but she was, she was kind of sold on it because it was, it was designed by the IT people at KLC, so it was designed specifically for cities, so they know how to do it. It's not like some company that designs one and you're going to do retail here and a municipal there. It's, they know what they were looking for, and they know how when, at the end of the day when she gets her printout, it'll, it'll all come. If they use a credit card or whatever, the payment goes through Stripe, which is a recognizable, recognizably known company. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's, oh, that's, I thought that. And at the end of the day, or I guess we, they'll dump it into an account, and then Amy will have the ledgers, the paperwork there, the printouts to know how much goes to move from, to put to sanita sanitation, water, and sewers. So, so when, yeah. when the check is written, how long will it take to get into the account to get to us? It won't be a check. Oh, well, I guess what I'm getting, getting at is uh, penalties going up to the town. Yes. And it pays on yeah. line. It will go on, like with the online payments, it will go on on the 10th at midnight. Like it'll be, like for me, you know, if they paid it online, like Saturday was the 10th. So if they paid it, would you go online and pay it on the 10th? And then next thing, the 11th, if they didn't pay it, it's going to be on there. Where right now, if you drop it in the night drop, you're fine until Monday rolls around. I do that deposit first and then. So it will add the penalties okay. right at midnight on the 10th. So. I see. Well, Even I if it's on a weekend. Even if it's on a weekend, we kind of mm -hmm. wave it, yeah. you know. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't add penalties until I got all of my night drop in this morning. Mm -hmm. So after I got the night drop in, then usually if somebody comes through the drive through or comes in, I automatically take penalty. Mm -hmm. Thing they could have put it in the night drop over the weekend. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. That's one thing down I've wanted to do for a long time. Now we can start working on a website. Uh, next item is thermal imaging grant. Yeah, every year the thermal imaging grant comes available through uh, Kentucky Fire Commission. Thermal imaging is camera reviews, find hot spots, anything that puts on heat signatures. Um, we've got to both the ones we have we've gotten through the thermal imaging grant and you're awarded it you're not allowed to go again for uh, three to four years our time is up so I'm just asking permission to fill out for a thermal imaging grant um, should be no match on it this year they've got a excess of money so it's kind of the first come first nice. basis no match I like that I move to approve the thermal imaging grant second. motion is second any further discussion those in favor, signify the time. Aye. Opposed, <coughs> same. You can give all the paperwork yourself. Mm -hmm. Approval of the 2023 motor vehicle and watercraft property tax rate. Is that in here? I didn't know that part of it. Huh? Yeah, the compensatory and all that. You look at the. You look at it. I'll end on the desk here. But that's. That's the property. That's not the. That's not the other one. Okay. No, but it is. It? I'll see it. Wait a minute. That. I don't see the person went on here, like. Do you see it? I don't have it. It's not my property. I mean, for the motorcraft, I see the property. Yeah. Yeah, the motorcraft's on here. Yeah, but doesn't tell us how much it is. Is the same as it was last year? Is it going up or what? See, this is the one the state tells us what it is, and okay. isn't that right, Larry? Uh, yes. So we might as well just go ahead and accept it, shouldn't we? 
Because we don't have a choice we have to do what they say anyway, don't we? Hmm. We table that on a texture over. Okay, yeah. We'll table that and go into the water main east eighth to east tenth. I got I got the maps here if anybody wants to look at them. Everything looks like it's in order, uh, ready for submittal to the state. How long will turn around? Six to eight weeks possibly. Why are we stopping at 10th? Why are we just fixing that one section? Is all we're doing? We're not going on up. Well, there's a new, new pipe up there at 10th on it. I'm, I'm sorry, what, Larry? Everything's north from 10th Street. Oh, it is isn't Yeah, definitely okay. with that three lanes ahead. All that's new when they did that. I removed over from the right. three lanes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passed. Next item is the 2022 property tax rate. Let me see it in front of you. Yeah. Does anybody know which one we need to do? What do you base the budget on? The budget is based on the four percent. We kind of because we hired the seventh officer. Yeah, you know, we talked about all that. I thought that we would have. That's to why I asked, which is the one yeah. we're supposed to. And it's a penny. Yeah, I'm pretty. I make a motion we tell you to do the four percent increase. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh -huh. Shelby, you have anything else? Um, Treats on the Trail will be October 31st, uh, 3.30 to 5.30 at the park. Uh, don't forget the KLC conference is next week. October 31st? October 31st. I thought it was the last week. Is it next week? The 20th or the 23rd. Next week. Mm -hmm. well, what's the week of the, the next week? Grad. That's great. Okay. okay. I knew something was that week. And then our billing system is having a conference um, November 16th. Um, I'm just asking for approval to go. It is $235 a person. Um, it'll be over anything new that they have going on. Uh, they are looking to upgrade a few things, I think. So That's the United Systems? Yes. I feel like it would be Where's it at? For me to go. Where's it at? In Benton, Kentucky. Hmm. Oh, big place. <laughs> One one day training. Yes, just one day, just the 16th. I moved to Fruza. City clerk go to her conference. Second. It may not be a bad idea to send the other one of the girls too. What you say? Yeah. May not be a bad idea to send uh, the other girls as well. How about can you? Yeah. Will you read? Uh, city clerk two. plus one. City clerk plus one. Second. Again. Okay. Any further discussion? One thing. That means we're going to read water meters on the 14th and finish them by the 15th. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's all. <laughs> we'll get it Details. Okay. Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <clears throat> Anything else, Shelby? No. Mike? No, I want to report that uh, Jamie's doing well. Our officer had a heart attack. Uh, it was good to see. I saw him at the concert the other night. It was good to yeah, see him. He's, he's, uh, he's getting itchy to do something. So I agreed if he would stay back there and, and hold on to a post and not get a hold of nobody, I'd bless him. So anyway, but he helped, and uh, but he's doing really good. Uh, he doctor's not released him yet, but he's expecting to be able to come back to work October the 9th. So that won't be long. I hope so. Uh, and just FYI, we've got one that is probably going to be leaving the 1st of October. Uh, Paul Evans, his wife, is taking some kind of job in Lexington. Her mother and father lives up there, so that gives them a babysitter. Uh, and I think it's an opportunity that she just couldn't, they couldn't afford to pass up. It's like a six-figure job. And uh, he's been looking at uh, some agencies up there in Lexington. I got a letter from uh, UK police uh, the last week one day. Tell me it's on at UK, just get us tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the concert coming up there? Chris Stapleton. Oh, it rough, yeah. Yeah. For the flood nice. relief. Because that's just, you know, uh, he hasn't given me a definite date yet. So, uh, but he has, he has told us, and I appreciate that, that he did tell us. Uh, everything else is doing good, uh, as far as I know. Uh, everybody's doing it, I reckon. You do, Clark? Good. <laughs> David? Sounds good. Any update on our truck? Just the last one that I got. They <coughs> in Brantford, or Brantford, or wherever that town is in Florida. Uh, just waiting to get in line for production. Brantford. Brantford, thank you. So, it's there. Did any, did, I don't know, and you probably told me, but have they given you any kind of estimated date when it might arrive here? The last I heard was November. The uh, gentleman that sold us the truck that was kind of over that, they had let him go. So they're in the process of finding me a new rep. Um, in the time being, they got me with the vice president of the company. Oh, He's well. keeping me updated. 
Um, but they're still projecting November. I assume it's probably going to get pushed back <clears throat> as of right now, still November. Originally, it was only July or August. So. Yeah. Okay. And Sandy. Still waiting on our vehicle to the one we ordered. Oh, but it's December, isn't it? Maybe. They said October, November. Okay. I had agreed to take it without the chip for the back heat and air in the back. Uh, if it did, it's going to be a long time before we ever got it. So. Uh, so when the chip come in, it's going to put it in, right? The they're going to put the chip in when it come in. Yes. Yeah, like when they get the chip, they will bring it down here and put it in down here. So we don't have to take it in for it. I went ahead and agreed to go ahead and take the vehicle. So, uh, yeah, they said October, November. It's been ordered probably since last year, last holiday. The supply chain has really, has really start, it's starting to hit us. You know, on a two inch water meter, yeah. I'm uh, four months out to get one. Wow. Uh, that's like the truck that we bought, the commercial style chassis. You cannot buy one, they will not sell you a commercial style chassis. Um, well, I got curious, reached out to Eagle and a couple others just to kind of see. No commercial style chassis are being sold whatsoever anywhere. They just can't get them. And they actually had to up ours up to from a 22 model to a 23 model truck because they could never get ours built time, so they had to turn around and give us a 23 model. Hmm. Okay. Shorties everywhere, hurting everything. <coughs> okay. Sandy, do you have anything? Well, I thought we were going to have a, a visitor tonight. And I kind of turned this over to James, but of course he's with his wife, but um, Eddie Hancock. Okay. Where, or do, do, is anyone aware of what's going on? Has anyone else talked to him? I think A.V. maybe did. Who? Eddie Han Ed Hancock, Eddie. Um, I know where he lives, but I mean, what is Well, not the daddy, but the son. The son lives over in that subdivision right next to my farm. He's building a house. Well, sorry, he Andy. lived there, then he's moved, and now in... There's no sewer? There's no lateral for the, on that property. When Junior Thompson had built the subdivision, it's, each it's lot behind had, Pizza Hut. Right. Each, each lot had a lateral. After the water sewer was installed, there was some resizing of lots. So when it was resized, it pulled the footage. Took it away. So we know there's one lot of sewer, and that's his. <coughs> but now his plumbers, we cut the street for them Friday, and they installed. So everything is moving forward then? He's, we set the meter Thursday, the plumbers were put in a sewer Friday. That's the last, I haven't talked to Mr. Hancock, so I don't know. Okay, okay. And I thought he was gonna be here tonight, so I may not have anything to say at all. I texted him, but I hadn't heard back from him. So. I think part of the issue is he's wanting, he doesn't want to have to pay for it, does he? I think it was a bit of a shock to him <coughs> that and understandably so, especially in a, a relatively new developed subdivision. He would have, here, here's kind of the issue. He didn't buy the lot from Junior Thompson. Right. He bought the lot from so another gentleman. Third party that, that bought it from Junior. So Junior, Junior didn't say anything wrong because he didn't deal with Junior. Mm -hmm. But there was not sewer on the lot. Was it the, the line changed before the other fellow bought it? When the line no, changed? The line was changed after the water sewer was put in before any lots were sold, period. So it was after Junior put it all in, it was changed? Yes. As he described it to me, the, the, there, there was no line. There was no uh, line that came to his property. And what he was asking me was if the city was not responsible for extending the line. But, but he didn't just leave it to his property line. Uh, he was rather of the impression that the city was responsible now for extending to the property line and also to his house. So um, I don't think I've misquoted what he said. Um, the, the line comes came how close to where his property line is? How close? Yeah. 14 foot. The, the, main, the main, his house is on the west side <coughs> of Thompson Drive, and the sewer main is on the east side. So just the width of the street is, is the distance. But were the 
uh, line would have come to when the subdivision was put in? It would, it would have got out of the right of way of the road. But where's that line at? Right. Normally they're set up center ditch, center ditch. Is no, no, I know, but where's the stub out at? When, you, when the lot size changed, it's, I've got the map center, it's 150, I think it's 150 foot off the manhole from the manhole going downstream. So it's actually hitting on another lot. So, so that, that's going to, if you measure it out, that's probably going to put two taps on one lot. No, I understand, but I just wonder how far into that other lot was his. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't well, answer that without looking. Is there any way that, who owns the other lot? It from the line, line the line. 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 He's already, he's already got a house built on the lot. Well, yeah, but if the sewer line's out well, front, do I? if the sewer's out front, it shouldn't. It, it's out front. You'd have to dig across somebody else's yard, but I wonder if they would let them do it. It's what I'm... Would you? Well, <laughs> probably. I mean, to help some, I mean, I wouldn't be so hard-nosed on helping somebody out like that under the circumstances. It was just crossing the corner. Now, if there's a bunch of big trees or something to come up, it'd be different, but... I just uh, heard from him. He said, just if we could help in any way with the cost of the installation of the sewer, either with money or digging slash filling the road. So where are we? What do we do? When, what, what's the norm? I don't, I don't know. In the ordinance, they are responsible for if, if they cut across the street, you know, it's like a tariff, they're responsible to put it back. To repair the tariff. Mm -hmm. We had that happen up here on what, Mulberry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Twice. And I hate it because he said that, you know, he bought it in good faith that the services were there. Yeah. I mean, that, that to me is something he could take up with the person he bought it from because under good faith. But, I mean, I don't see how we can change our rules just... I hate it for him because I like it. He's a good guy. Oh, it's nothing. I, I it's not a personal wrong, issue I, at all. No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't know that we can change just for one person without it affecting other people that come around next next and year. And that would that, that's probably part of my question. Have we ever done? Have we been in this situation before? Not like this, no. That's what I was thinking when I talked to you. That's what he said. So I think that's probably it. Okay. Do you have anything else? No. Charles? No. Kevin? I am so happy. I haven't had a phone call about pickleball in a week and a half. And you still bring it? Yes. I did, but I'm not going to talk about Thank it. You. I'm just excited. Y'all got to give me, you have to give me a break on that. <laughs> I'm done. That's it. I don't have anything to talk about. Okay. Larry? Uh, Joe Henry sent me a proposal on the GRW sewer for my subdivision and I just I printed it off 20 minutes after I got here so I hope you want to look over that and talk about it afterwards. We may have to put this off to the next meeting because okay. it's going to take some okay. time to study it. Okay. okay. Given uh, that is the only thing that I have. We do need to go into a closed session, correct? Yes. yes. Make a motion to go into closed session. Second. Second. I, I did. And listen, y'all don't lie about it. I told him that's the truth. I'm not going to lie to him. Look, y'all lie to him. I think we already did that before they got I know. I want to make sure they knew it. I'm going to tell you a motion to adjourn. Make so a motion to adjourn. You need to sit down. I like that, Dustin. Well, I got to go.